Hi there. My name is Jeff. I'm from the Business Innovation Factory in Providence, Rhode Island. I'm here to talk to you about a, uh, an online curriculum we've been working on for the last six months or so. It's called TD for Ed. And uh, it doesn't stand for touchdowns for some guy named Ed. It's um, Teachers Designed for Education. And um, my colleague, Sam Seidel, spoke a little bit about the project in Tuesday's keynote. And uh, he shared some stories of teachers who are using a project-based approach to tackle problems in their, in their classrooms, their schools, and their communities. And um, teachers who designed an out-of-school underground meetup for teachers. Um, there was uh, teachers that designed new ways of understanding the whole child outside of the school environment by using qualitative data from children's lives to understand students' quantitative data or their test scores. So uh, TD for Ed was designed to empower teachers like this to collaborate on projects that are meaningful to them. And um, we, uh, we had a pilot program uh, consisting of uh, 12 teams, about 50 teachers from Rhode Island, uh, Philadelphia, and Chicago. And these teachers helped design the online curriculum we'll come to share with you today. Um, we like to say that uh, the curriculum is by teachers for teachers. And, um, we created the curriculum informed by principles of design thinking and paced the pilot teams through this over the last six months or so. And um, how, many, how many teachers have used uh, design thinking in their classrooms? Anyone? Are you familiar with the term? Um, well, we're, we're going to try and bring this to teachers uh, via our platform uh, starting today. So. Um, some pitch, an early pitch to go to our, our session. Um, the TD for Ed online curriculum is delivered through a website that's been optimized to work on various screens that teachers use in their day to day. So you can use the website on laptops, netbooks, tablets, smartphones. And um, we designed and built the site with the invaluable help from our, from our teachers. Um, we sat down with them and we said, um, what do you think of this? We literally just sat them down and um, uh, said, is the language right? Uh, is the content organized in a way that, that makes sense to you? And uh, does it act like other sites that you use? And um, these were important questions for us because it, um, you know, teachers design curriculum just like we're trying to do. So um, the, the response has surprised me uh, in particular. Um, Sometimes they said, uh, maybe you should use a drop-down menu over here. Or, um, I'm not really crazy about that font. Or, my favorite one of all was that uh, the icons you're using are off-brand. And um, these, it would really surprise me, um, they're really critical, but um, all kidding aside, uh, teachers were pointing to uh, issues of experience of using this, something that we take very seriously and um, they're grading us on. So, um, six months into the project and we're still iterating, um, but we've come a long way. Uh, the response from the teachers has been enthusiastic. And um, we're looking forward to uh, you know, showing you guys some more about this in the next session. Um, as Sam shared with you, the pilot schools are making real progress with this. Many of the teams are now working on implementing their plans in the next academic year. The secret sauce here is uh, part of it's the curriculum, part of it's the delivery of it. Uh, but one of the biggest success factors comes from the way that the program has brought teachers together to work on programs, uh, excuse me, uh, problems that matter to them and their own professional development. Um, like I said, we're opening the curriculum today for the first time uh, to the public, and we encourage you to create a team uh, of your own to tackle the problems that affect you. Um, we're going to be in uh, building number four just outside the door where it's very sunny, and um, we'd love to see you there. Thank you.